Hey there, it's Sam here from BMT School of Music. This is a recap uh, video for a student where we've been going over something called playing in thirds in G. This is a more advanced kind of creative theoretical kind of concept. And I hope that anybody that's watching this, it might possibly be useful to somebody. Um, as I say, it's, it's actually purposely for a student. But um, but you know, like I say, it's a, it's a bonus if anybody else can use it. So uh, so we're we're playing in the key of G, and we're sort of playing around the chords G, C, and D, and we rehearsed an ordinary second position G major scale and a three note per string G major scale as well, which obviously spans a few different positions. And then we did those both up an octave as well. So you play that from 14th position, and then from fret 15, your three note per string. Sorry, little little glitch there. It is hopefully quite in tune like in G. And then what we start doing is playing a G major scale on one string, the open G string, so like this. then a G major scale from the B string, but starting from the third note of the scale, which actually kind of gives you a Phrygian mode. And then we played both those together. So you'd have this. Like that, and that's, that's a G major scale played in thirds. So the, the first kind of chord shape that you played is the first and third notes, so one and three. The second one is notes two and four, and then so forth, we've got three and five, four and six, so we're gonna keep going, five, five and seven, six and eight, well, you know, six and one, root note again, um, seven and two, and then you're back to one and three again. And the other thing, if you look at your chords in the key of G, so G, A minor, B minor, C, D, E minor, F sharp diminished, is that these follow a similar shape. And because they are a first and a third for each chord, so first sort of thing there is the first and third note of the G minor, uh, G minor major chord, and then the next one is actually the first and third note of the A minor chord, and so forth. And you actually end up with this pattern where you actually got this shape where it goes major, minor, minor, major, major, minor, minor, and back to major again, if I was to name each shape. So the ones with the parallel frets, so zero and zero, that's just a major shape. And then the ones with two different frets, so you've got fret two here and fret one here, I call that a minor shape. So in the key of G, you'd have your G major, A minor, B minor, C, D, E minor, F sharp diminished, and then back to G again. The reason the F sharp diminished shape here isn't any difference because you don't have the fifth. We'd normally have that if I really sort of go one step further and start kind of playing, you know, triads. It's not really possible to do on this string, actually. Um, you don't remember that, which is not going to be that useful for playing in an improvisation setting um, in the same way. So the way that you can also use these is that certain ones will emphasize certain chords. So the G chord, you can emphasize that by playing the first shape and that third one there, because that uses the first and the third and the third and the fifth. So we play a melody like. C, I could play this shape and this one. Back to G. And D, this shape and this shape. And you can see that you could, the same as a scale, there are certain notes that will emphasize certain chords. You can use all the notes in the scale, um, but certain ones, you want to work around those so that you are emphasizing that chord. That was about it. Uh, I hope you find this really useful.